Hi, I'm Joe Silvera, and I'm here at one of our studios at Silvera Jewelry School. We offer online classes and in-person workshops. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a ring with a Roman style stone setting for this lovely turquoise cabochon from Turquoise Moose. We're going to use the lost wax casting method to make the ring and setting in wax. Cast it into sterling and then set the stone. Let's get started. I saw this block of green carving wax out of a larger block and I use files and a square to true it up so that it's perfectly symmetrical all the way around and square with the sides perpendicular to each other. Then I drilled a hole through the middle, sawed out the center and filed it to the size of the ring that I'm making, in this case a size 12 and a half. Now we're going to get it ready for the setting. I'm creating guidelines on the wax block to locate the setting by scribing around the stone. This is a wax burr and a drill press, and with it I can mill out a straight-sided seat for the stone. Now we check the fit to see how well our stone goes in. Not a bad fit, a little snug, so we'll shave it a little bit to allow for shrinkage, but uh, that's pretty good. And I made a hole in the bottom so I can pop it back out. Now it's time to carve out the ring with a saw, files, and tips. I'm going to buff it with a little bit of lighter fluid, which is a mild wax solvent, and I'll use some paper towel as my medium for that. There we go. My applicator. And then just buff that up to a nice shine, and that will get rid of really fine scratches in the surface and leave you with a great surface for casting. To get this ready for casting, I'm going to attach a sprue so that it has a tunnel to pass and deliver the metal to the casting after it's burnt out in the mold. So this is just more wax. I just position that where I want it to go and weld it on. We weigh the wax and sprue so that we can calculate how much metal to pour. The sprue is then welded to a rubber button former, which will act as the base for the next step. The wax model is covered with plaster-like investment in a temporary mold called a flask, which is allowed to harden. Here I'm pouring the mixed and vacuumed investment into the flasks. 
The investment is then vacuumed a second time to remove any air bubbles that could interfere with casting. The flask is invested and ready to go into the kiln for burning out. It goes in with the opening facing down with space for the wax to melt out. The metal, sterling in this case, is melted in a melting dish using a torch. A vacuum casting table is used to assist the pouring of the metal. The molten metal is poured into the space where the wax models used to be. To remove our cast ring, the flask is quenched in water. The sprue is sawn off the bottom of the ring. The sprue is ground off and the ring is polished before we set the stone. In this type of setting, the metal is chased inwards over the edges of the stone with a punch and a hammer. This type of setting has been around for a long, long time. And let's put it this way, it was a popular way of setting stones back in ancient Rome. The bezel is punched over the stone until there is no gap between the inside of the bezel and the stone. The punch marks are then cleaned up with filing and a little bit more polishing to create a beautiful finished rim for the setting. All done! This design and this stone, it, it just reminds me of looking down on a lake maybe nestled in the mountains in the winter with that cold, frosty sterling around it. It just makes me happy to look at it. Well, I hope you liked this short tutorial. This is just a taste of our online classes, which are super thorough and full of information, demonstrations, and individual help. Check out our upcoming online classes and in-person workshops at silverajewelryschool.com. Thank you to Turquoise Moose for the cool stone to set today, and thank you for watching. We hope to see you soon at Silvera Jewelry School.